Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've missed uploading. I've actually been vlogging the past two days, but after I finished making the vlogs, I kind of like decide, like before I even edit, I kind of decide, mm, do I like what I videotaped or recorded? If not, then I just wait till the next day, vlog that day, and I'm like, was this interesting? No, <laughs> so I didn't upload them. But I wanted to do a little update. I've been doing these, um, not acai bowls, like yogurt bowls, but I make them like as if they're acai bowls. I know, they're really good. I'm making this because I'm waiting for my actual food to come out of the oven. And I was thinking about doing, um, a sit down video and then I turned on my YouTube and then I watched someone else's sit down video and I was like yes I am inspired and then I was about to watch Sonya Elsie and I was like if I watch her video I will not have enough time to upload mine and sometimes I gotta choose between uploading my video and watching other youtubers videos because I gotta upload on my phone I'm I'm I don't know I'm kind of down today but not at the same time, it's really weird. I think it's just because I haven't had enough water and I haven't eaten a lot today. And usually when that, when I'm like that, it's because of those two things. I also have not been taking my iron pills the past two days, but I've been supplementing it for spinach, asparagus, and I don't know what else I had that ended up being iron, but I was like, what? I did not know this. I thought I could only take my iron pills because when I take my iron pills, my hands, like the tip of my hands from here up, um, and same for my feet, they don't get cold. But when I don't take my iron pills, they get cold so fast. And I was just like, oh, like I really don't wanna take my, I don't wanna stop taking my iron pills cause I know how it feels when I go to sleep and my feet and my hands are freezing cold. But I'm gonna try it because one of my subscribers said that that's probably why I was bloated. And that is actually exactly why I was bloated. I was like, oh my God. Thank you so much for commenting that. It literally helped me so much. I feel so much better. And I was just like, wow. I kind of see the, the transitions of what I've been doing with my body by like, originally I was working out a little bit, but then I stopped because I didn't want my body to not recover because I'm still not, I guess I still am not supposed to be working out because of the car accident because I have to be wearing the brace and everything. I don't have to wear it 100% of the time, but most of the time, and then I do ice my wrist right here because that's where it hurts the most. Oh, can I see it all like right here from time to time? And yeah, so I've been trying not to eat a lot of sugar because I read online that sugar does not help your tendons to heal when you do have tendonitis. But a lot of things that do help are blueberries and spinach. And those are things that I had been craving. And turmeric as well because it's an anti-inflammatory. And there's a couple other things that I've been having else like my body has been telling me what it wants and I've been giving it to it because <laughs> I've been craving spinach and blueberries. I'm just like, why am I craving this so much? And it's because that's what it helps with. But I did put a couple cashews in here, like seven. It's um, dark chocolate. I've also been saying to myself, don't have chocolate, you're trying to be healthy. Don't have chocolate, you're trying to be healthy. And then, after like three weeks of not having chocolate, like I did last weekend, I had two bags of those chocolate like nuts. And I was just like, my, what did you do? But I wasn't like mad at myself. I was just like, that's really unhealthy. I should not be doing that. So then I was like, you know what? I should be incorporating chocolate and sweets into my diet so that I don't like binge eat two bags. So that's what I've been doing as well. So this is pretty much my New Year's resolution check-in because I've been wanting to make more videos, write in my journal, which I actually haven't been doing because I've been uploading more YouTube videos. So my YouTube, I guess, is kind of my little journal, which I'm fine with. But what I'm really proud of myself for doing is taking care of my body first. Cause today I slept for a total of nine and a half hours and that was from 11 p.m. last night to 8.30 this morning. And then I got up, ate breakfast, started my day, cleaned the kitchen, and then went back to bed and then I just woke up for real right now and it is 1 p.m. So my body needed sleep apparently and I don't want to like stress myself out. I don't want to be stressed. So I'm just like letting my body guide me and tell me what it needs 
And so that's what I've been doing lately, eating what I want based off of what my body's telling me. <laughs> if it's healthy, then I go ahead and do it. If it's unhealthy, then I kind of like compromise. And I'm just so happy for the changes that I've made with my life and my body. And I just feel so like energized from eating more healthy and drinking more water. Like my hands feel so good from drinking my ounces of water that I need to take. And right now, oh, I keep checking at the time, but it, the oven's on, so I can't check the time. But right now, I should be getting ready for work and putting on makeup and changing my clothes and stuff, but it's fine. I, just, I really wanna upload this video. I've missed you guys. And I wanna show you guys like my health journey. I tried getting a um, personal trainer, but it was like $340 and I was like, I don't have that kind of money right now. I'll have to save up and then get a personal trainer. And that personal trainer would be with me for the next three months, which would be amazing because then I'd be able to see my goals that I want in the next three months. So I decided that I'll just keep eating healthy 80% um, of the time and then eat what I want 20% of the time so that I stay on track. And then by the time I get to um, be with my personal trainer then I'll be able to like full-on do everything I need unless he like tells me to change my diet up a little bit more because I don't eat that that much carbs which I'm trying to incorporate carbs more into my um, diet I used to eat a ton of carbs but that's what was keeping me like it was keeping me satiated but I kept like blowing up but today for dinner I'm gonna have a ton of carbs because I'm not gonna have that much time to eat and I want to make sure that I'm satiated full and I have enough energy to work so I have yams and I'm gonna make some pasta today but yeah I'm just like so happy that I'm like learning all this information about food and my body and what things do good with my body and what things don't go good with my body and things like that and I just feel like I'm learning so much in 2018 and that's exactly what I wanted to do I'm getting back to my 2014 2015 my because I knew everything I needed to know about my body like what went good what I couldn't eat on certain days what I could eat on certain days and what I should be eating more of and I'm kind of doing that now and I back then I felt like I couldn't work and take care of myself so on my off days I would like take care of myself and then on the days that I worked I would just do whatever but now I'm kind of incorporating it all together into one and I'm doing it slowly so I can maintain this um, process and like maintain everything that I'm learning rather than doing it all at once and then just doing this for a month and stopping but it's all about like I, I just want to be living a healthy lifestyle like eating healthy and being a little bit more active like how I ride my bike to work in school um, for me it helps me sleep more it helps me enjoy my sleep because before when I was eating junk food and not eating as healthy or not riding my bike everywhere or not walking to and from places I was only getting three to four hours of sleep maybe at the most and I was like so tired all the time and I just I just was not as happy as I am now and I feel like taking care of my body and doing what I'm doing now I'm getting my eight hours of sleep and I'm like learning everything in class and I'm I'm doing better now and I think it's all because of what happened in November like you guys have been with me since November you would know everything that happened but I'm super um super grateful to be alive and literally everything right now I'm just like I'm grateful for this I'm grateful for that if you guys saw my last vlog but yeah um I'm gonna end this video so I can finish eating and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow actually I have a long day of work tomorrow but I want to try and upload like a little tiny video maybe a get ready me get ready with me or something in the morning but yeah thank you guys so much for watching um stay strong and your new year's resolutions give up on giving up in 2018 you're capable of amazing things and I'll see you all tomorrow peace <laughs>